Hey guys, welcome in a new episode of Stephen's Week, the weekly update on marketing and technology. Welcome to this new episode. Exactly two years ago, Amazon acquired Whole Foods and that was big news back then. That was like the first time that one of the big tech giants put their feet on the ground and the stock market reacted to that by decreasing the, the value of all other offline retailers like crazy. So that was a big thing happening then. Now we're two years later and the conclusion is that this acquisition has not been the success that Amazon has dreamt about. Uh, in fact, uh, the sales, the revenues of Whole Foods, they have not increased despite the efforts that Amazon has done, despite the price reductions they have done, despite the, the big marketing that they, that they used around the acquisition. Uh, so that didn't have the effect. And also Amazon didn't really grow into online groceries. So that wasn't a big success for them. On the contrary, one of the effects of this acquisition is that the big competitors of Whole Foods uh, companies like Walmart, they started to become more serious about online and about digital and online groceries. And it actually created stronger competitors for Amazon um, rather than they became stronger than the existing competitors. So um, companies like Walmart used this to completely reinvent themselves and to really speed up their game in terms of online. Also companies like Instacart that offer front end e-commerce solutions to um, other retailers. These guys have grown like crazy because of that. So. The, the strange thing is everyone in the market was afraid of the acquisition of Whole Foods and Amazon, but the effect was mainly that all the other players, they became stronger and the acquisition of Whole Foods wasn't the success that Amazon has hoped for. Uber and McDonald's are starting with a new experiment. They will use drone deliveries for food deliveries, uh, but it's not like what you think it will be. It won't be a last mile drone delivery. It will be a mid mile drone delivery. So what uh, McDonald's wants to do is to deliver uh, different sets of meals to a central location in the city of San Diego. That's where the test will happen. And then there the Uber Eats people will pick up that delivery and do the last mile delivery. So we always thought when we talked about drone deliveries that it would be last mile. Now this first experiment of Uber and McDonald's in San Diego has become a mid mile delivery system by drones. Of course, the biggest news of the week is the announcement of Facebook that they're going to launch Libra, the stable coin that I talked about in the last two weeks. Now they confirmed it. There was a release of Mark Zuckerberg. And if you ask me, it feels like Facebook is like building a new central bank system together with about 30 other partners. So this coin will be backed by real money. And the first target group of the coin is to reach out to people who have a mobile phone, but that don't have a bank account. And that's about 1 billion people in the world. And they want to give these people the possibilities to pay in a safe and fast way. Uh, but of course, they're going to build uh, applications for the other markets as well. Um, they're going to start with an application called Calibra, which will be a digital wallet that allows you to pay. You're going to have that with the wallet standard in Messenger and WhatsApp. It's going to be a standalone app as well that allows you to do payments. So this is a really significant move of one of the big tech players into the market of financial services. And probably they're going to find more and more partners that will build on that and create more services to really create a new set of financial services in the world. This is probably one of the biggest steps that we have seen in that field and one of the most exciting items in my Stevens Week this year. YouTube will start with an interesting, cool new feature. And they're gonna start with augmented reality for bloggers that are in cosmetics and makeup. Um, so if influencing uh, vloggers are making a video and they're, they're showing how uh, a new lipstick works, for instance, um, there's going to be this augmented reality uh, system that the person who's watching that video can actually see themselves with that makeup on. So if that vlogger is recommending a lipstick, you can see the lipstick on your own face through real-time augmented reality. Of course, this is uh, a potential new way to create revenues. Potentially, this will push people more to buy it. So this is a test that YouTube is doing in one category, and it's a new way of finding engagement between influencing vloggers and their audience and i'm sure the cosmetics industry will be really really interested in this new deepfake technology has the power just to let a picture sing a song or to let a picture say some really crazy words um, we've seen deepfake before where we saw president obama when he was saying things he didn't actually say and it was really hard to tell if it was real or fake now they just need a picture and the voice and they can let that thing do everything they want using artificial intelligence and machine learning so for instance you can have albert einstein and you can let him give a speech of some of the things he said in the past and now it looks like it's really him speaking. This is really scary stuff. 
Researchers in the University of Washington have done a study with uh, Amazon's Echo with Alexa. And they asked Alexa to listen to how people sleep. You, the, the machine is actually listening to the, to the breathing rhythm and breathing patterns of someone in their sleep. And this study reveals that Alexa has a 97% accuracy to predict a heart attack. So you can put this next to your bed. The machine can watch over you while you're sleeping. And in case you would have a heart attack, she can call the emergency services to come and rescue you. You can imagine that, you know, people that live alone, elderly people with cardiac problems, that this would be amazing that you have some sort of a watch system that actually can help you in a very accurate way to make sure that you don't get a heart attack in your sleep and die from that. And now the machine can, you know, can watch over you and can avoid that. That is a cool piece of research, if you ask me. So everyone, this was my weekly update. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you again next week. Bye-bye.